Okay, quick update on the 2015 Suzuki King Quad. I'm in the works. I'm working out a deal with the uh, guy that helped me get this over the border to actually sell it back to him. Um, if you remember, this came from Copart. Uh, it does not have a uh, good title. It has a salvage title, so it's issue. There's issues um, when it comes to registering this machine since it's salvaged. So there's a few things you can do, but um, really, it's not really worthwhile to um, get a title for it. Also, it's not. It's too good to cut it up. So he's he has some property. He has, lives in an area where uh, it's more rural than I am, and. I'm thinking about uh, selling it back to him. I've always given him that option if he does want it. If it doesn't work out for what I want it for, I would give him that option to uh, buy it back, basically. Buy it back for a little bit more than what I have into it, make a little bit of a profit on it, and uh, get it out of my life, sort of thing. Because it is too good to convert it into a golf cart. In saying that, I'm working on another deal right now for something else that will be going into the golf cart. I know I've been back and forth on the golf cart quite a bit, but uh, I think this is what's gonna end up happening and this thing will be going bye-bye probably next month. It's May 3rd today, so probably by some sometime in June, this will be going bye-bye and we'll go from there. So what I'm gonna do is make it look a little bit better. I'm going to redneck repair the uh, wiring issue with the relay then i'm going to put all the plastics back on get the computer mounted properly get the battery put back in this did come with battery i don't even know if the battery is any good so we gotta see if that battery is any good and we'll go from there so i know uh, i imagine a few people wanted to see this build but uh it's too nice to cut up and build um I was even looking at it, I was even measuring out different things on the golf cart. I could make this thing fit without too, too many issues. It's just too darn nice to do. It does need a front wheel bearing. I don't know if it's this side. Yep, I think it's that side right there. Walk around the dog. I'm pretty sure it was that one right there. Yeah, that one's better. So it does need a front wheel bearing, which isn't a huge deal. Uh, the oil is actually coming up pretty clean now. I've changed it a few different times. If you remember, this thing had water in it. It had a lake in the air filter. All that's been cleaned up. It'll actually start and run pretty nice. I got the battery disconnected, but uh, one second here. And no, that's not the proper battery. It's not the battery that came with it. That's actually for a much smaller four-wheeler that we have. Here, it starts and runs pretty good. So it's just that uh, issue with the relay. I could track it down, but there's so much wiring on this machine. And he even said, just bypass it and make it run and just do it that way. You just gotta make sure you uh, shut the key off when you're done with it or else you will uh, continuously running the fuel pump. But it does have a return system on it. So I think it would um, stop at the injector and it would send it back unless the injector itself is pulsing as well. I'm not sure if the injector itself is uh, pulsing when the key's on or is the injector only pulsing when the engine's running, so whenever it's getting spark signal. That's one thing I don't know. Um, so anyways, a few also a few other people are saying to mount an engine like this in the back of a golf cart is pretty much a death sentence. There's so much power in this engine it's would be overpowering the golf cart and you're you're going to hurt yourself that's not really the issue i was i wasn't really thinking about that um i was going to make it work anyways but the always the idea was if i could get this running and if it was good enough to put back together and if someone does want to deal with the uh, no title no ownership issue they can deal with it themselves um mounting it and modifying it you kind of get around that issue but Still, if someone wants to deal with it and keep it as a four-wheeler, more power to them. So that's where we're at right now on the uh, King Quad. I'm going to work on putting the plastics back together, see what I have. I believe I have everything. I just don't know about fasteners. 
I'll probably have to pull some fasteners out of my butt and make it work. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'll talk to them later. Please keep it redneck like always. And uh, please try and comment.